Happy New Year everyone, this is Balash from Racing Brick. I hope you are up and ready for the first video of the year, which is a pretty exciting one actually. It is time to reveal the 2023 Speed Champions lineup coming in March. Ok, you could already see the first 2023 Speed Champions set, the Nissan Skyline from Too Fast Too Furious. I had a presentation from the lead designer and a detailed review as well. I created a playlist for this year's Speed Champions videos, if you missed any of them, the link is in the top right corner. So today we have a very special guest again, yes, I know you were counting on him, Chris Stamp, the lead designer of the Speed Champions team, will be here to share all the design secrets and details of the vehicles coming this year. I met Chris at the Fan Media Days in Billund, so I also have hands-on photos and videos of the cars, and I have the official super high resolution photos of these sets, so you will see every detail possible without actually building the cars. Let's get started. Thanks for having me back. Um... Speed Champions is back for 2023. I know that maybe some people out there were getting a bit worried, you know, is it, is it not? We're back. Um, we've got five products again. Six, if you include our most important, which is our poly bag. We don't want to forget that. That is our second collection. We have the eight wide and we do have the five wide, which for us internally is a big deal. We really, we really give as much energy and love and in, into those products as the main ones. So, um, Hopefully you guys get excited by more of those. Um, we've mixed up the formula a little bit this year. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do four single packs this year and one double pack. Um, bringing you the same stuff. I want to show you guys that we've raised the bar again from 2022. We released 22. We heard your reaction to it. We've tried to raise the bar and listen to you guys again. Continuing what I'd like to do. I'm trying to bring in and introduce new IPs, so we will have some new partners this year to introduce to you, new vehicle types, and hopefully a few things that you haven't seen before, especially from LEGO Speed Champions. So let's get into it. Lots of new elements. That's a big thing as well I'm going to talk about. I'll go through that as we go through the cars, so hopefully you'll see some stuff that you like, some stuff that you don't criticize us too much for. Um, and as always, I'm just trying to give you guys a really open conversation into a peek into the Speed Champions garage because you guys are why we do this. For the car enthusiasts out there, you are why we're doing this. So um, let's get into it. The first car, um, we're reteaming with one of our strongest previous partners, someone we've worked with once or twice at Lego. You might be familiar with the brand. Um, Every time we're looking through your feedback, for some reason, we don't know the answer, but for some reason, everybody uses the Ferrari Tributo as a benchmark. So what we wanted to do is we wanted to basically revisit Ferrari. So uh, you might like, for there might be one or two Ferrari fans out there, but we wanted to take all of the learnings since when we first launched with our first eight wide speed champions, all the learnings all the way through to 2023. So what I'm introducing to you guys today is the 812 Compezioni from Ferrari. Now this is the Compezioni version, so you get that really nice yellow racing stripe through the through the center. And there is a lot of stuff to love here, which I'm super excited to tell you guys about. Now the first thing is 2022. We heard you guys about the the printing on the windshields of the Lotus. We knew. When we did it, we weren't 100 percent happy, but that was the best we could do with the, the positioning of the yellow line. So what we've done right now, and we're going to do this for all Speed Champions cars moving forward, is we're going to start decorating the actual side, the real as low as we can on these cars so that we can finally not have such a straight line on the side of our cars, but actually build in the slant and decorate that slant. So that's one big thing coming for the Ferraris. We're going to keep doing the, the decorated and the, and the brick built uh, headlights and taillights that we promised you guys. In fact, with this car, we're not only brick building it, but we're decorating it as well. So on the taillights, I don't know how easy that is for you guys to see. We're brick building, but also decorating black onto those one by one rounds because the real car does have kind of uh, zero shaped taillights. Now, what you guys may already have noticed, what you might have seen in this, is that 
we've kind of also changed the proportions slightly. And that's allowed us to create two new elements. So what we've done is we've introduced a brand new chassis piece. Now, this is obviously hot off the desk, so it's still prototype form. But this is an update to the eight wide chassis from Speed Champions. Now, a couple of notices is there is this big cutout on the side and people will say why. Well, if we learned anything from the Speed Champions headlights is we like to remove any excess to really maximize the building possibilities of any element. So what we've done here is we've removed this, which you'll see when we go through some of the assortment and when you finally get them in your hands to build, you need to build some of the different vehicles of this launch. But what we've also done is we've carved out as much space in the center. So now previously we had it as a four by six. Now it's a six by six. And what that allows is as we're increasing the detail in our interiors, you'll see that we try to get as much detail in there. Maybe in the future include four seats in an interior instead of instead of two. And then also the main thing when I'm talking about the whole Speed Champions proportions, we've actually lowered the chassis one plate. So the actual seating position of the minifigures is lowered by one plate. And what that means is that the minifigure gets lower, so the roof gets lower, so the whole proportions get lower. And to double that up, we've also created a brand new wheel arch element. And from the outside, it will look the same. We're following, so it still follows the family, it still fits around the wheel. But what we've done from the top is we've kind of removed as much excess in there as we can physically remove with our production capabilities today and still have it be buildable in the in the model. And what you can see with this first car is that now you can build right on top there of the wheel arch. So no longer having those those extra studs in there, we're going to get this as low to the ground as we can make these cars as low and as wide as possible within the same scale. So that we're really that's a game changer for us in Speed Champions. That's going to affect every vehicle we we design moving forward. What's cool about this Ferrari is obviously it's a completely different silhouette to the Tributo and the, the 512M. So we're trying to offer you, if you're just a Ferrari collector, something different. We're chucking in a few new building techniques like we try to do with every Speed Champions car. And there's some really nice stuff going on around the back that you guys know us. We like a few funky builds. So there's some weird things going in here on hinges that's at different angles. Hopefully you guys love it. And hopefully you'll see that we brick built the exhausts with minifigure shooters, the new version of minifigure shooters, not one, but two. And yes, we're not using them in the build, but we are including the trigger handles for the shooters. So if you want to rebuild them and you just out there thinking speed champions are great, just as a just as a parts pack, you get full shooters in there as well. So we're not going to give you things and, and miss out some of those details. So. We're going to kick off 2023 with Ferrari. Hopefully you guys like it. Hopefully you can see that we're trying to take what was successful previously and we're trying to polish the edges and make it even more pristine, even more accurate and even more presentable when you display this in your bedroom or in your office or on your living room table if that's where you want to display it. So very excited for this and to show you guys this today. The next vehicle. And this one, I think you're going to see a lot more clearly the proportions with the chassis and the wheel arch. But the next vehicle is one I've been wanting for a while. And this car is, it's a brand new partner. You guys have never seen this partner in the Speed Champions family before. You've never seen it at Lego before. So that I'm really excited to show you. Um, and it doesn't even have a name yet. So today, as we're doing this interview, we're still using a code name, so we're calling it the C10. And I would like to introduce you guys to the first ever Speed Champions Pagani. Now, what is super cool about this is it is technically, untechnically and technically, the third ever Pagani that they've made. They made the Zonda and the Hayura, and now this is going to be their new hypercar. They did the different versions of the Hyundai and the, of the Hyundai and the Zonda, but this is a brand new car, brand new silhouette, brand new shape. Breathtaking to look at if you when you get to see it in real life. Um, so new, like I say, that it doesn't even have a name right now. By the time it's in your hands, 
it will have a name. But what's super cool about this car is you can really see how low we can now make this due to the new chassis and to the new wheel arches. So think of this as the continuation of what we did with the Kunenzeg and the Lotus and now a Pagani. And to achieve this car, we're doing what you should expect by this point with Speed Champions. We're including elements like an ice blade that's used as a detail and in weird ways. We're building things in ways that you didn't think we could build them in so that we can educate you guys on you don't need to use an element in a specific way. And a particular example about that is if we look at the back of the car, hopefully you guys can see that there's some really unique shaping going on. And that's because all cars need a door and we've heard you guys saying speed champions don't include doors. Well, we decided to include doors and we included four of them. So not in the way you would expect because we're speed champions. But we've included four of the classic traditional minifigures door in there built at angles so that you can see right through the center, but you can capture that shape. So this is something that we're really excited about, because, again, with every time we're doing a speed champions car, we're not just teaching you guys new ways to build, but we're also challenging ourselves. So this is something that when we got it, we were like when we saw the concept art. We were just mind blown. How do we build that? I can't wait to get back in the garage and build a try and build this car. To achieve it, we've included include some new elements. So we've got a brand new windshield. I don't know how easy that is for you to see, but following that up this year, the focus is the shoulders of the car. So 2020, uh, 2020 was evolving to eight wide. 2021 was bigger wheels and the right proportional wheels. 22 was getting you guys finally decorated headlights. And this year it is about shoulders and the transition from the windshield back into the car. So what you can see here is we've created two new elements, a left and right, two by five slopes. Um, we, that allows us to still have that brick built window in the back where you can see the engine straight through. So I'll show you those elements separately so you can see them a bit clearer. This is our six by six new windshield. And if you compare that, for example, to our previous one from the Ferrari, you can see that we've created a much more cleaner shape. And that allows us to truly create that, that teardrop shape that you'll see kind of on all modern super and hyper cars in particular. So that we're really excited about. This is going to be reused in future Speed Champions cars and hopefully gives our vehicles a completely new aesthetic. And then these are the left and right two by five slopes we talked about. But again, it's Speed Champions. So we give you a couple of extra cutouts underneath so that you can build these in any configuration you want, lock them together in a very clean and tidy way and hopefully use these elements in many, many ways that we haven't even thought of. So hopefully you guys will like that. Interior, we've also decorated. Uh, so we've got the um, we've got the teal, uh, the tan seats in there, the, the, the nougat, I think how you guys call it is the nougat seats with a bit of the dashboard on the sticker in there. So we've, we've also increased the detail on the interior for this one. And overall, so excited to see what you guys think of, of adding Pagani to the Speed Champions family. So can't wait to see what you guys think when you get this in your hands. Um, great. So that's a couple of a couple of super and hyper cars because what would Speed Champions be without those? But the next vehicle, we wanted to do something a bit familiar, but a bit different. So I wanted to, I wanted the Speed Champions team to revisit a previous partner, but someone we've never had in the eight wide collection before. So for the first time ever in the eight wide collection, we're going to revisit Porsche or Porsche as uh, some say. But I didn't want to do just another 911 because we've done five or six 911s just in Speed Champions. So what we're going to do is we're going to introduce a brand new vehicle type to the 8 wide collection and we're going to revisit LMP cars or in this case an LMH by introducing the brand new Porsche 963 LMH. That's a Le Mans hybrid. And like I mentioned, this is the first time in the 8 wide collection we're doing 
a LM car with the, the brand new red with the black striping livery. And this is another example, like we showed you last year with the 512M Kaman versus the previous 6 wide 7 and 917K Porsche, or previously with the F1 car Mercedes compared to the previous 6 wide F1 cars. This is another example to show you guys how far we've evolved in the eight wide collection compared to the previous six wide speed champions. So I'm really excited to see how you guys can compare the, the, those again and see how far we've evolved purely by listening to your inputs and your feedback. What's special about this car, as well as it being very different, as well as it being a new type, um, is we're reusing those brand new wheel arches, which allows us to get this vehicle extremely low, really low, and makes it feel even wider than previous. This is my sketch model. This is my working model. I'm bringing this right off the designer's desk. So right now you'll say, oh, but the headlights are light gray. Those are gonna be transparent too because we want all of our headlights and taillights to be brick built or if not uh, decorated, we want them to be transparent. So they will be transparent as well, don't worry. And then you might've noticed when I held it up, but this vehicle has a brand new cockpit and a windshield and it's probably easier if I show you the actual element so this is the element it is a four by six and this is basically the thinner version of the of the wider piece so they follow the same family they're going to be they're going to be used in the same way this is the four by four circle on the front following the the uh, slopes at the side so it should all flow together nicely when you build with it but together that allows us to really create this sleek look, the eight wide now allowing us to actually capture these, these details and the, the actual shaping better of the body, like you saw when we did Formula E. So this is something I'm very excited about. This is something that, again, hopefully we're showing you guys how every year we're trying, to, we're trying to expand and push the limits of what we did previously. So I hope you guys are really as excited about this as I am, because. We've got Marin back this year, who did the Aston Martins for us last year. He did such a great job. We got him back. We heard you guys saying that you liked what we did with the, the V8 Vantage. So we got him back this time to tackle Porsche, and I think he's done a fantastic job with that. So hopefully you guys will love his work as much as, as I do. Then we move on to double packs. And we've got, like I mentioned, we've got one double pack this year, but we don't want to just put things in there just to put things in. So we want to also bring you newness with the double packs. And for this double pack, we're going to revisit another previous partner, and that's McLaren. Now, what makes this extra special is, first of all, we're introducing a new type of vehicle, something connected to video gaming, which we haven't really done in Speed Champions before. We're also going to introduce our first ever McLaren double pack because we've never done that before. And we're also introducing our first ever McLaren icon our first ever iconic mclaren and we heard how well you guys liked the countach when we did the countach last year we know how well you liked the, the ferrari f40 when we did the f40 or the white 911 when we did that so we felt it was the time to do an iconic mclaren so i'm going to start with that first and this is going to be the first time we ever do a bright orange eight wide speed champions car so I would like to introduce you to the McLaren F1 LM. And this is kind of our little follow up to those out there who love the iconic vehicles and love the Countach so much. And what we've tried to do is take the learnings from the Countach and again, try to raise the bar. So we're going to continue like we did on all the previous cars, the side decorating on the windshield. We're going to have brick built headlights and taillights and all the stuff that you guys have come to expect from us. But what we're going to do is we're going to introduce some new elements. So how do you get a cleaner look on this? We're going to we're going to include the the iconic vents on the side using the rudder that's normally a minifigure accessory as that detail because it's speed champions. That's what we do. But we're also going to introduce two new elements. So in the back, focusing on shoulders, we've introduced another new element here and another one there and that's one by five slopes and the reason that we've chose that 
is because that still allows us to keep that four module gap in the middle where you can actually brick build the windows to see the engine, but you can still see all of this detailing as well. So that's going to be something new for us. It also allows us to have a much more smoother surface behind the window, like you saw with the Pagani, to place that big sticker, rather than, for example, with the um, Mercedes last year, where that section was split up into several stickers. Now we've made that a cleaner surface, so you just get one larger detail. Um, makes it just a nicer experience for you guys, and also reduces the stickers, which we've heard you guys say you would like us to reduce if possible. Now, if you look at these elements themselves, we know they look a little bit unusual. They've got a little bit of an unusual silhouette. But that's because it's speed champions and you guys know that we want to remove as much excess as possible because we know you guys are clever enough that you can build that in later if you need to. And we want to make these elements as diverse and allow you to build as many crazy and wacky ways with them as you can. So. What we've done is we've sliced off the end at a 45 degree that you can then fill out if you need to. And for example, in this model with the corner tiles, so you still get that very nice clean transition. And we've also removed a module from the front here so that you can maybe build two of them next to each other on a plate, but it's still going to get you that nice clean look. Or you can build these two things back to back on a plate, but you can still get a, a clean transition. You're not adding extra stuff underneath, affecting your height when you're building at home. And the reason we've done that is you're going to see as well in the next car is because that allows us to build things that we couldn't have built if we just kept it as a very blocky piece. So I would like to introduce you to the second car, which is our first ever kind of video game car. You guys might know this from a video game. And that is the McLaren. And right now it doesn't have an official name, so I'm still going to call it the BC08 because um, you guys are seeing this so early that we don't even know the name yet. Um, the McLaren BC08. And what we've done here is we've taken that iconic uh, black and white color palette that you guys will know it for if you've played a certain video game. But we've added orange highlights so that it ties closer to the, the McLaren F1 in this double pack. What's super special about this, if I continue about that new element, is we're using that new cockpit that we've made specifically for the McLaren and the Porsche. And we're following that up with those new one by five slopes behind. And the reason that we've done that cut out is so that you can finally build in like these extra shapings and things. Because as soon as you add those cutouts, the possibilities expand dramatically. So it might look a bit like unique when you look at the element by itself, but we're not thinking about how it looks left alone as a single element on the table. We're thinking about how it looks in a model when you're building with it and how can we allow you to build as much as possible with it. So that's what we've done. What's super cool about this car, as well as it just being a fantastic opportunity to work with McLaren again, is it's nine wide. And I'll say that again for everybody. It's nine wide, which sounds cool but was a very big headache in the Speed Champions garage. But Speed Champions, all of our cars are in scale with each other. So it had to be nine wide, just like with the Ferrari F1, F512M. It was nine at the back, it was eight at the front. That's how the real car was. This car is a lot wider in real life than for example, the F1 or some of the other hyper cars. So it had to be nine wide. And what that allowed, just like with the Valkyrie last year, was us to completely rethink the build system. So we're taking a few learnings from the F1 last year, or the Valkyrie, and we're using uh, wheelbases sideways again. There's a little sneak peek that there's a lot of technique in here as well, so that you can start getting wheelbases offset and different things. That caused a lot of questions when you're building the whole model, and that's why I'm so excited, because this year this is our most unique build experience. But for us to continue the transitions around the back, where you've still got a little bit of a fin sticking out, but everything else needs to be perfectly clean and stuff. That allows us to use a brand new element again in the Lego family. Speed Champions can't take credit for this. This was another team, but this allows us to use this brand new one by three plate. Again, this is a prototype, not the final element with the curved ends and the hollow studs so that we can rotate the whole pieces into the, the correct position. 
And if you liked what we did last year with the Mercedes AMG one, where we took an airplane fin and rotated it in a 55 degree and then 23 degree and then rotate in all these different angles, we've done the same thing again here, but in a completely different way with different elements to offer you a completely new Speed Champions experience. Round the back, we've got some really unique uh, tail lights again, revisiting what we've done. If you remember the McLaren Senna six wide back in 2019. And what we've just tried to do is offer you a completely different model to anything else, not just this year, but anything in the past Speed Champions. So I'm really excited to see what you guys tell us about this one and if you think we've done it justice. So that is the main assortment. But like always, we cannot forget the poly bag. It's five wide. That's crazy. But it's just as important to us. And this year, looking at all the vehicles, we've continued our strategy of giving you guys a little pocket version of your favorite speed champions. So if you love speed champions so much and you can't leave them at home or you're sad that you're leaving them at home when you go to work, here's a little version you can put in your pocket when you go out. And this is another version of the McLaren BC08. Um, this one we've kept the livery that you guys might be familiar with from a certain video game that I hope you guys love to play as much as we do. It is in scale with all of the previous five wide. It is five modules wide because we felt if it went to six wide, it would compete with our previous six wide collection. But hopefully you get a real taster out of this of what you would expect with the larger speed champion skews because we don't hold back again with our micro builds. So hopefully this will be the new addition to your five wide collection. But there's one element I have also created in speed champions that I haven't touched upon. And I've specifically left that out because this thing is not just a game changer for speed champions, but has a larger Lego impact for those of you out there. And there was one thing that we designed this element and then April the 1st came around and we saw a few people online presenting this element as if it was a joke because you thought we'd never make it. And we thought it was quite funny in the Speed Champions garage because we'd already made it. You just hadn't seen it yet. So I would like to introduce you to our new element that is used in most of the new wave was actually needed so that we could complete the BCO8 was actually needed in the uh, F1 and in the, in the Porsche and also in the, the Pagani. And that is a two modules high element with a stud on the side. And not just that, it is a hollow stud. So you can also use that for putting a 318 in there. And not just that it's two modules high with a stud on the side. It's also got a rounded back. So that if you want to you build something with a stud, you can finally have a stud, not just forwards or sideways, but you can rotate it to whatever angle you guys want. So you can make whatever creative, imaginative builds you can think of. And the good thing about this as well, if we even strip it back to its very, very basics, is if you place this on top of the existing brick with a stud on the side, or you place it underneath the existing brick with a stud on the side, that will perfectly allow you to place something directly on the side. So that allows you to build models bigger than ever, even more stability than ever. So hopefully you guys are as excited about this element as you are about everything else you guys have seen today. And uh, I'm just so excited to show you guys that because we've been coming up with a few ideas in the garage and I love when we get to present to you. So thanks. So guys, you've seen the cars, I have to say that we will have an excellent lineup again with some great looking vehicles, cool new pieces and tricky builds. I could only complain about the number of sets revealed, we had a single movie car for January, then we will have 3 single packs and 1 double pack for March. If we compare this to last year, we had 3 single packs and 2 double packs in March and 2 additional movie cars in August. That's a total of 9 compared to the 6 we've seen so far for 2023, so I really hope we will get some additional movie cars later this year, hopefully with a movie double pack perhaps. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments folks, how do you like the new sets, the new elements? 
Did you expect these or something else? Let's talk about it in the comment section. If you like this video then please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe with notifications as more exciting LEGO videos are coming soon. See you next time, bye bye.